Just two weeks after our failure to report racial profiling investigation, the state is making major changes. We first told you that any Texas law enforcement agency that makes traffic stops is required to collect and report data on each driver's race and analyze that data for racial profiling indicators. But we revealed hundreds of police agencies across Texas have not been following that law for years. And the state has not held them accountable until this week, after speaking with KXAN investigator Jody Barr. 87. With every single traffic stop in Texas. When they really stop your day was for your speed. There's a data trail. Experts tell us doing a comparative analysis of that data is the only way to find indicators of racial profiling. But we found the state does not have a single analysis on record from any Texas law enforcement agency in the last 10 years. We're fixing it. We're, we're rectifying any, any shortcomings we had there. After our interview in December, Kim Vickers, the head of the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement, went to work to figure out how his agency failed to ensure total compliance with the state's racial profiling law for so long. But the bottom line is we weren't doing exactly what we needed to do. It needed to have been addressed. Um, and so we took that opportunity to see where we could do it better and, and more effectively. And, and that's the steps we've taken. Anyone looking for annual racial profiling data in Texas is supposed to be able to find it on T. Cole's website, which today looks a lot different than it did when we first started investigating. It now includes a warning about those comparative analysis and a link to a 700-word how-to manual, step-by-step -step instructions telling law enforcement agencies how to perform a comparative analysis and the price police chiefs and sheriffs will pay if they intentionally fail to report these details again. It can go anywhere from a, a, a reprimand against the chief administrator's license up to a revocation of a chief administrator's license and or uh, up to a $5,000 civil penalty against the, the entity, the city or the county uh, where, that, where that agency uh, resides. If agencies fail to do this after March 1st, 2021, moving forward, what is your steps to hold them accountable? If they have not, then, then they will be moved uh, into an enforcement, uh, to our enforcement division to begin a, a case. The changes that you have now made, what message have you sent to these law enforcement agencies across Texas who have not complied with this law? Well, I believe that the message that should be there all along, and that is you're responsible to, for this. There comes a time when, when you've done everything you can to help them get to where they need to be, give them what they need to take care of it, and if they choose to not do it, then they need to be accountable. And that, I hope that's the message that they're getting. Again, the deadline for the racial profiling data and those comparative analysis is March 1st. T. Cole has a hurdle here. The agency has to prove police chiefs and sheriffs intentionally failed to turn these reports in. To address that, T. Cole is sending certified letters to all 1,600 agencies, formally notifying them that the deadline is coming up in a little more than three weeks. We'll keep you posted on the agency's progress. From the Capitol, Jody Barr, back to you. We're told lawmakers were looking at potential legislation to force T. Cole to enforce the law, but T. Cole's director tells us he does not think that's needed for now. Changes his agency made after our investigation would do exactly what the racial profiling law that is already on the books mandates. But T. Cole is still under sunset review this session, so lawmakers are paying close attention and we will follow up with them. You can check out our entire failure to report investigation. Just search for the racial profiling page at KXAN.com.